Okay, halfway through. This can't possibly get any work. Uh oh, I just rear ended a cop. I shouldn't say anything. I shouldn't say anything. Hey, Fred, have you seen Norville? I need him to help me investigate. No, but I have found a way to make you like me. I really don't understand why Fred wants Velma so bad. She's like the worst person on earth. I guess Fred in the show just has a thing for psychos. That would explain why he was dating Daphne, you know, the girl who stabbed someone with a pen to the point where they were bleeding profusely and the teachers did absolutely nothing about it. Watching his women get stabbed, so progressive. Shush, a feminist is speaking. Who is this show for? There were some papers in father's special drawer where he keeps his men's workout magazines. Turns out our house used to be owned by a woman named Dr. Edna Perdue. How the fuck is Fred, the character this show has spent the entire time trying to make us think is dumb, a better detective than Velma, the person the show has spent the entire time trying to make us think is hyper-intelligent? This entire show is just Velma sitting around doing jack shit while everyone solves the mystery for her. 90% of the leads Velma comes up with are just flat out wrong. She's a moron. And Fred, hey, hey, oh, that was not a fortunate frame to pause on. Let's, let's just move on. Norville, you have a girlfriend? Oh my god. Maybe I should spend less time with you. Less time? But I only see you when I need you as is. Why'd they have to make her such a horrible person? Like, for fuck's sake. Fine, great. No sweat off my underboob. No sweat off my underboob. Mindy Kaling, National Medal of Arts winner. Velma, give me the chance and I can help you with anything. Well, except filling in your ethnicity on a form. I'm guessing Samoan? I don't even think the show knows at this point. Especially after wasting years pining for that bossy one. What was her name? Meatball? I actually heard Meatball was really cool and beautiful. It's funny how narcissism is the most consistent trait Velma has in this show. Also, Meatball is such a beautiful nickname for this Velma. Thank you, show, for giving me that. I will use it constantly. I, I would, but all I can think of right now is the gender pay gap. Is it funny? Women make 20% less than men, and women of color even less? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Almost died. Still, if I can separate reality dating shows exploit- Hey guys, we're at a TV show. Did you know we're at a TV show? We're at a TV show. Okay, remember to take your pill with food and absolutely no getting murdered after curfew, young lady. I love how the show has to constantly remind us about the murders because we've probably forgotten since they're wasting our time with all this pointless bullshit. Hey guys, don't forget, there's a plot happening. I, I know it doesn't seem like it, but, but yeah, it's there uh, sometimes, I guess. Oh god, is that a hoverboard I see? Please don't tell me they're gonna do a hoverboard joke in 2023. Oh, how old are these writers? They feel like dinosaurs. I would like to take this moment to talk about something I actually like in Velma. That's right, I'm about to praise Velma. It's been established that Daphne is just kind of a lunatic, so her having a knife taped to the back of her computer is a subtle bit of characterization that I think is actually pretty funny. If this was in a better show with original characters, I might actually like this. But unfortunately, again, it's like sprinkles on a dumpster fire. It just can't save it. Night to ourselves! Time, Time to, to get, get freaky! freaky. Are these writers incapable of making characters who aren't sex freaks? I mean, I can understand having like one of those types of characters, but when everyone's like that, it gets really annoying. Daphne? Velma, I may have found my real You parents. haven't seen Norville, have you? He's like the only dork in town not inside my house. No. It's funny how Daphne's side plot is so irrelevant that not even the other characters in the show care about it. Honestly, can't say I blame them. Okay, Norville, I understand that for some reason you've chosen Gigi, a beautiful girl who puts out, over your angry friend. Friend is a really strong word in this relationship. Scenes like this also show me the writers are self-aware enough to know Velma is a terrible person and nobody should like her, but they aren't self-aware enough to make nobody like her. So we're in this weird limbo state where they recognize the character is terrible, but they aren't having the characters act like she's terrible. Hell, Norville not wanting to hang out with Velma is just treated as a huge joke by this episode. And he's only doing it because some other chick is forcing him to. Norville, just please leave Velma forever and let the show end right here. We all know she'd die immediately if you weren't around. Should we stop them? Devin just unplugged his cochlear implants. 
I get a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and whenever I have a casual whim. Velma, normal isn't something you share, like a sandwich. Who shares a sandwich? It's like every other joke is just Velma being a horrible person. She's also a massive hypocrite because she keeps talking about how she wants people to respect how cool and beautiful she is, while she also treats everyone around her like shit, especially her friend Norville who's done nothing but help her. She literally treats Norville like an object that she can just use whenever she wants. She's a narcissist with no respect for anyone but herself. I just learned about it a few days ago, and the truth could ruin my mom's life. Your mom's a high school principal married to a guidance counselor. It can't get more ruined than that. Wow, what an asshole. Wait, I found a bag of salad. Wait, she knows what a salad is? Damn, I'm surprised. Ah, oh, that could work, but no one's allowed outside right now. I am the mayor! Oh, oh, oh. Except for cops. You see, show that was kind of funny. You, you can make funny jokes when you try and, you know, Velma isn't on screen. Just, just have her not be on screen like ever. I guess my house will just get destroyed. No, I'll do it. No, Norval. I told you, if you do any more simping for her, we're through. Gigi, I'm not doing this because I'm simping for Velma. I'm doing this because it's the right thing to do. I'm simping for myself. You're a fucking idiot. Me? But I do everything around here. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You know that's not true. Literally everything that's happened in this episode was due to somebody who's not Velma. Every advancement in the story, literally everything except the fact that a band meeting happened was due to people who were not her. God, you fucking narcissist. <sighs> Namaste. Peace. Calm. Serenity. Thank you so much, Daphne. And whatever's going on with you, just put it in a text and I promise I'll give it a thumbs up by Monday at the earliest. Keep in mind, Daphne is in love with this person. Let that sink in. Sorry, I have no choice. I mean, if we don't support a small business owned by a woman of color, who will? Wow, Norville. You're not just a better friend than I am. You're a better person. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Don't worry, you guys head home. I'll distract Sheriff Cogburn. But no way! C c character development is finally happening! She she's gonna improve! She's gonna become a better person! This is all I've ever wanted! Wait, I changed my mind! Fuck! Come on, come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, run her over. Come on, do it. You know you wanna do it. You know you wanna do it. Come on, come on, do it. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! Oh! Fuck yeah! Let's go. Since he didn't post that picture, be in my office Monday morning. I'll tell you everything I know about my mom, Dr. Edna Purdue. And once again, Velma plot conveniences her way into solutions. She spent this whole episode doing jack shit and yet somehow gets rewarded with the answers she wants. <sighs> Only five more episodes to go. God fucking damn it.